What's going on? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now, since I heard a lot of Apple Biter's feelings last week for keeping it real with a month's worth of bad apples, I'm going to try to stay away from iPhone news this week because some of you are just too sensitive. So let's talk iPads and the next product we expect from Apple to be announced in October. According to Bloomberg and other reports, the Big A is planning to introduce a gold model to its iPad lineup for the next gen iPad Air. There's no talk about the iPad mini getting gold just yet, but you can't do this halfway. Apple, come on, all gold everything. I love using that video. Now, Digitimes also reports that Samsung will be one of the suppliers for the next iPad Air and the rumored 12.9-inch iPad Pro starting later this year. The displays are expected to feature a similar IPS technology to the current iPads as well as anti-glare coating. Now, the iPad is one of my best travel buddies and I'm all in for a larger iPad screen that still fits in my bag. All right, a lot of you keep asking me if it's the right time to get an iMac and I keep on telling you to be a little more patient especially after this news from 9to5Mac reports a new line of iMacs with ultra high resolution retina displays are in the late testing stages with Apple. The new iMacs are expected to be even thinner than the current line and they could possibly even launch alongside OS 10 Yosemite later this fall. So yes, wait for it. And it's just been under two years since the Mac Mini's last update, but Mac Rumors is reporting that Apple is planning to possibly launch the next Mac Mini alongside new iPads and OS 10 as well. All right, Apple showed off the new Apple Watch for its first public appearance at the Parisian fashion boutique Colette just for a day. Customers were allowed to look but not touch. What's the fun in that? Taiwanese news source Apple Daily reports the fruit company is finalizing the details for their watch before mass production of the smartwatch begins in January of 2015. All right, the Coop Town kids have released the OS 10 Yosemite Gold Master Candidate for developers, indicating it's just about ready to go public. The fourth public beta for Yosemite has also been released for those of you that are part of that program and fixes for the OS 10 Mavericks, Mount Lion and Lion Shellshock batch security flaw have been fixed as well. And Apple is asking their developers to submit their OS 10 Yosemite apps for approval with the launch of Yosemite expected in late October. All right, this is not iPhone news, but in iOS 8 news, Apple seeded the first beta for iOS 8.1 to developers not to be confused with 8.0.1 that some of you cried about last week. Now, developer Hamza Sud was able to pull some good nuggets from it, including a screenshot for the hidden settings for Apple Pay. So far, only the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and Apple Watch will be compatible with Apple Pay, but Sud also found evidence that the next-gen iPad models will include Touch ID support and Apple Pay as well. And if you thought people taking pictures with their iPads looked stupid, uh, just wait until people start paying for things at stores with their iPads. So here, um, let me just get back here and pay for that. All right, and uh, here, okay, put it, okay, thank you. And shove that in my back pocket. Yeah, not cool. All right, and before we go, you Apple biters are still asking me, where do I get a lot of my shirts? So check out my favorites at this link from Design by Humans, and they're offering you, the Apple biters, a 15% off code for everything, including their shirts, hoodies, iPhone cases, and artwork, whatever you want, with the code APPLEBITE15OFF. That's good until October the 11th. And yes, we are Groot. Now that's going to do it for this week's show. You can email me at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.